Hello and welcome to the Broke Uni Student House Tour. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Welcome to my house. Welcome to the Broke Student House Tour. When you walk in, first you see the door. Then you walk in and you see this lovely, beautiful, quaint, small little hallway. First thing you see, first time you come to, is this lovely fire alarm. Now this fire alarm, as you can see, actually says fault. It says it's faulty because it is faulty. It goes off whenever it wants. We'll be lying around chilling around the house and it goes woo 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 There's nothing we can do. Now, as you walk along, the next thing you see is this mirror. Now this mirror is really ugly. But it was originally in there, which you'll get to see in a second. But we decided to take it out and put it in here because there's a big empty wall, which we also hated, and we covered it with this. As we go into the next room, we come into the living room. Now this living room last year was very cold, very bare, very ugly, very sad, very cold. This year, however, we decided to spruce it up. Oh, that noise makes me sick. <laughs> so the first thing you can see is that we got this lovely blanket and pillow. Now the yellow is a bit disgusting and we kind of immediately regretted getting yellow cushions after we get it because it's not even a nice yellow. It's kind of like a sickly yellow. Like, huh? Huh? you know what I mean? If you were to imagine the color of vomit, that's the color you would imagine, you know what I mean? So, you know, potato, potato, live, learn. Live, laugh, breathe there. You know somehow you're gonna get there, you know what I mean? The next thing we have is this beautiful red sofa tipped off with white cushions and a grey. A grey. What's it called? A grey throw. We're gonna go for it. Why is it called throw? You throw it over the back of the sofa. Now let's move on because I can't remember. Now, my favourite part of the new living room is this stunning centerpiece that we have created. Do you know what I mean? Tell me that's not beautiful. You can't. Last year this was all a bare wall. We didn't even have a clock. It was very sad, very bare. But this year we're like, no, let's change it up. We got some lovely gold little pots and we put wee candles in there, but we have actually ran out of candles because we got bored, we got excited and used them all within the first week. And then we chose like nice wee random pictures to just go up in the wall, you know what I mean? You know exactly what I mean. Now, my cousin at Jesse Wright Stuff made this lovely design. If you want one, go hit it up in the description below, link below or something, I don't know. Then we got this clock. Now, I think what really tops off the whole thing is this fire extinguisher. And for some reason, the pin is out, which is worrying. The next thing we got were these lamps. Now, while it's beautiful, and it was 275 from Ikea, very cheap, very handy, very versatile. Whenever you are going down to reach down the handy chargers that we also bought this year, you put, and the wee lamp just falls. Now let me do it again, just to show you what I mean. Oh, no, there it is, it's just a way again, it just doesn't stay up. Because it's made of 50p of plastic, it's crap, I hate it. But it also adds some ambience to the room, ambience. Now we have this little lamp that was broken whenever we first moved in, but I stole a fuse from the toaster and fixed it because I done tech at A level and I know exactly what I'm talking about. The last thing we got was this rug. Now there's a funny story about this rug, we went to Ikea and got it because it was quite cheap. 25 pound, bargain, absolute bargain, isn't it? Well, that's because it looked crap. We got it, we're so excited. The rug is the centerpiece, it is beautiful. We put it down and it looked awful, it was flat. The wee, the wee shruggy things didn't shrug, they just lay flat. We hated it and we cried for about 10 minutes and then we realized that it just needed to, to sit. You know, it just needed to simmer and find its place. And now we like it. I keep saying simmer and I don't know why, I don't think I've ever used that word before in my life. Oh hi, you didn't see you there. We're in the dining room. As you can see, we've got these lovely decorative candles. Three. I drop two of them whenever they're coming in and they'll just fall apart whenever we light them and it's just, it's a bit, it's a bit upsetting. As you can see, we have this beautiful sturdy table in comparison to last year. As you can see out there, you probably can't see out there, we have this small, decrepit, sad old table. So we've been there a table and people would like this because it was just falling away everywhere because it was so unsturdy. I went to Habitat for Humanity and bought this lovely dining table for 20 pounds. Moving on. Now we've got this fridge. Standard fridge, lots of stuff, lots of ingredients. Whenever we first moved in to our humble student abode, this fridge wasn't here because we had a white fridge. 
Now this is obviously black, not the same fridge. Whenever we moved in, the fridge was broken and it took them three weeks to get us a new fridge. Three weeks, we were eating nothing. Because every time we got something, it would go on a date. We'd buy milk, it would go on a date the next day. Because that's how milk is, you can't leave it out. We tried to freeze it, it didn't work. Separated, it's a whole mess and I hated it. Another fun fact while we're here, do you see these lovely blinds that just work? We didn't have any blinds for the first three months. That doesn't sound that bad, but we live in a very busy street with three very open windows and people would just come along and bang on our window. One time, my friend Dawson was sitting there playing Xbox and some drunk man came to the window and started banging on the window. You know, terrifying, but you have to live and learn. Under the stairs, there's nothing even in it. I don't even know why I'm showing you. It's just a mess. It's just stuff we throw in there because we don't want it anymore. Oh, these dehumidifiers, talk about a lifesaver, you know what I mean? Whenever we moved in, we removed 20 litres, oh we removed 20 litres of water from the surrounding areas and then recently whenever we moved out because of COVID-19, coronavirus, coronavirus, we all went home and we came back to the wee kitchen in here, Oh, was damp. So we had to put them on and we collected another 15 litres this year, fun. Now, before I show you the kitchen, even though I've already showed you, it's beautiful. That's all I'm going to say. So when you walk in, the first thing you see, give us some privacy, you know what I mean? First thing you see is this lamp. Again, very cheap, 275 lamp from Ikea. It does the job, but it's also beautiful. You know what I mean? You, can't, you literally can't lose with these wee lamps. So here's our cupboard for bowls, cups, mugs, etc. Um, and then this is my wee cupboard, which is kind of a mess and you don't want to see it. It's just got like flour, three kilograms of pasta, lifesaver when you're a student, you know what I mean? Pasta every night. Every night. Then there's this toaster. Works. We got this kettle when we moved in. It looks like it's been here for about four years, but it hasn't. We got it last year. Now, we're very sophisticated men. We love our coffee, we love our tea. And at Ikea, we got these things. Beautiful, you know what I mean? So we have a washing machine that we never used because it was broken and we didn't know how to fix it. But someone came and fixed this over lockdown and now we have fresh <laughs> tiles. <laughs> We've got a wee bag full of fresh tiles and stuff and I put on a wee wash once a week because apparently I'm the mum of the house. Last year we had the same cloth for two months at a time and every now and again someone would bring up a new cloth because no one would wash it. There was a couple of times where someone was like, oh let's bring home the old cloth. So everyone was like, yeah that's a good idea and no one does. Because we're lazy, but don't tell anyone. Okay, moving on. Here is our microwave. We just got this new microwave about three weeks ago from Dawson because our old microwave, you put it on and not within a minute, it would start to smoke. Now, some say that's worrying. Moving on. Now, this wee yoke, it does the job. Thank you, Dawson. This is our oven. Standard oven. Whenever you turn it onto the grill, it smokes and doesn't work and puffs out smoke because something is stuck to the grill and we can't use the grill because if we use the grill, our house gets covered in smoke and we die. And then we've got this bar stool. Whenever we moved in, this bar stool was here and we didn't know if we should keep it or get rid of it. And I never use it. No one ever uses it. Dear help it, it's lonely. But we keep it here because it makes us feel like pirates. As you go out into our lovely garden. Now let me tell you something. This garden was an absolute mess all of last year until this year, whenever all my friends started placement and my placement got canceled and I have to wait till January to start my placement. I'm very, very, very free up until December. I decided, let's change it, let's make it beautiful. And I did. It doesn't look as nice at night time when the fairy lights turn up. Spoiler alert, there's fairy lights. I feel like it's not gonna do it justice and I'm getting sad even like showing you, but. Wow. Damn! Oh my goodness! Who left this lovely garden? Go to Dolly Student House. Talk about unfair. They stay the same. Don't you hesitate, girl? Put your records on. Tell me your favorite song. You go ahead, let your hair down. Also, I forgot to say, this wee was a wee candle thing. Bought some poopery from my kid the other day, and talk about. Renewable energy. You know what I mean? Now as we walk out into the hallway again, we go up the stairs. Because the lighting's better in front of me, I'm going to go backwards. You come up and you have a landing. Dolls in a pillar on placement and they're all big important like calls. Do you hear that? 
he's making big money moves. So I can't talk to you now, but. As you go into the bathroom, you have this lovely tile hanger with a smelly sort of tile that needs washed. Mm hmm It does need washed. Now this wee toilet, as you can see, doesn't have a lot of room, but it has the essentials, you know what I mean? So, now we're going to, I was going to say bathroom, but this is the shower room, because that's what it is, there's nothing else in here apart from a shower. So you walk in, and the first thing you see is this. Now what is this? Well this was a shelf that was in here, and we kept having the same issue that this rug would always get wet, and I decided to put the shelf from in here, are we covered with all our stuff, and a big boiler or something in there, I don't know what that is, but we're not going to find out because I don't care enough. I put it on the floor, and then you stand up when you come out, and you dry yourself. Handy, hey? Another issue we had when we first moved in was that the shower didn't work. It broke. We messaged him, he didn't come for a week, we went home at the weekend, came back, and he had put this is our landlord I'm talking about. He put like police tape, like do not cross. There was like, a wee hole we had to push the power button on, but it didn't work so we had to stick a pen in every time, which now I think about it is extremely dangerous. But what does it matter? We needed a shower, you know what I mean? So we had to stick a pen in and then it would start and we had to stick a pen in and it would stop again. And he never knew. He never knew. Sink. Someone likes to shave here and doesn't wipe it off. Joel. Oh look, there I am again. Here is our toothbrushes, etc. And then here's our radiator where we dry our towels and stuff. Now, see this little plug? Every couple months I have to clean it out because someone's shaving their pubes in the shower and won't say who it is. But no one will clean it apart from me. And whenever we don't clean it, it clogs and the water starts to rise. As we go out, we come on to this lovely little window. On to nothing. In here is Phil's room, but he's on a call. In here is Dawson's room, but he's also on a call. So we can't do their room tours and I don't think they'd care enough to do it anyway. So, to another beautiful view of this random Chinese supermarket. This building is the death of me. Do you hear this? The high pitched ringing doesn't stop and hasn't stopped for three months. It's driving me insane. Okay, so next. There's some boxers hanging on the wall. Now you're asking me why? I don't know. Phil lived in this room last year, and all of last year, he never checked the top drawer, no, the second drawer. And in the second drawer, there was these boxers from the guy before. Phil lived there the whole year and didn't find them. Joel moved into this room this year because we all swapped rooms. Joel was looking through the cupboards and found these boxers in his bedside table. Like, how disgusting is that? They'd been in the room for a year and he didn't find them. Joel found them, and then he set them on my bed, so I put them up there, and they've been there for three weeks, and we can't take them down now. You're about to come into my room. This is Joel's room. Joel's asleep. Wow, 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 wow. This is my room. It's beautiful. It's everything I could make it. So this wee room is very small. This is the room, that's it. There's nothing, there's no room for anything else. There's a bed, that's it, that's it. There's nothing else. It couldn't fit anything else, it couldn't fit a desk. And Joel had a desk in last year here, and he had to wiggle his way through to get through and I don't need a desk because in my degree it's all very practical but I'm on placement this year anyway so it doesn't matter. Now it is a bit sad if I have to do anything I have to do downstairs in the kitchen table but it doesn't really bother me. Whenever you walk in the first thing you see is this radiator. I'm drying my towel that I dried myself this morning with for my shower. Then you come here and you see my wash basket. We cheap ten, maybe five pound wash basket from Ikea. Lifesaver, absolute lifesaver. Beautiful as well, lovely design. Striped, there's a wee the poo stain on that but we'll not talk about it. Lovely full length mirror. At the top there's this light. Now you're thinking, that's handy, comes with a light. Well it doesn't. It is the exact same lamp as this one. I have just hung it over the back and hope it doesn't fall. Can you see that in there? But so far it's worked. The world map is completely inaccurate. If you have a look at it, it just cuts off. You know what I mean? That's not how the world map should look. And then there is this clock. I have these two speakers there that were from an old cassette thing that my brother had and I took it off and he was, he was very upset about it but I don't care. Then this is wee cactus from Ikea, we lampshade from Ikea, we gold tin from Ikea. I only have one wee plug hole. So my room, naturally, is very dull and dark and depressing and there's only one window in it. So I had to put a lot of lights in but there's one socket. I have five extension cables. Lots of people have already told me that that's really dangerous but I need light in my room. You know what I mean? I have to have light. I don't have a wardrobe. I've got these random holes in my wall, which are kind of cool, and I just have to put my clothes in it. Some people hate it, some people like it. I have to deal with it, and that's that. Now I've got my wee chest of drawers, with all my stuff in it, but I'm not gonna show you that, because that's my intimate details and boxers and stuff. I'll show you. Boxers, socks, retainer, yummy. Deodorant, pyjamas, wee candles and stuff. I don't wear pyjamas, I'm a man. And then I've got wee random drunk drawer. You know what I mean? Everyone has a wee random drunk drawer. So here is more of those random 275 Ikea lamps that do just fall all the time and they're really annoying. Another one down there. Got this lovely wee clock, this wee piece, again from 
Ikea. Yeah, got the wee bin, my book collection that I don't read, and I have my bed. Beautiful. No, it's extremely painful. I had to buy a mattress topper recently because my friend Joel lived in here before and he said that it really hurt and I thought he was just being a wee, wee pussy. I just thought that he was being a wee dramatic, dramatic little bully. He wasn't. I woke up every morning for three weeks with back pain so I had to buy a mattress topper and now it's slightly better but it's not fantastic. Lol me. My photo wall. Ooh. With fairy lights around the top because it makes it look brighter and nicer. Spot yourself, got a wee lampshade friend here, one pound from Ikea. You know yourself. It's literally a paper bag. Oh, yes, sorry, my favourite part about this whole room is this lovely rug. It was like £40 from BM Bargains, which was not a bargain at all, to be honest with you. But here's my little tabletop setup. Got some candles, wee cat grass stuff and a wee gold pot. Wee random lampshade and a light. Now we have changed over my phone because I, my camera ran out of charge and I, I'm just going to end this whole video now because it's ran out of charge and I've done everything. You know what I mean? I've done it all. I hope you learned more about me, about my house and you know what? I'm a broke student living in a broke house. In a student house. I don't know what I'm talking about. Good evening, goodbye. See you later. <laughs>